everyone, I'm Cupcake and today we are here in front of Eric's Fancy Gardens to finally finish the build and this is just part 2 and the last part as well but if you missed part 1 I'll be adding the link in the description below I hope with this video you can find inspiration to decorate Eric's house and to create circular shaped gardens so let's continue designing Today we will be starting with Eric's statue. I decided to put Eric's statue here because nobody else wanted it but Ariel. But I told her that not seeing Eric all day and night will make their encounters more special. And she agreed, so the statue will be in this corner. And here I'll just be placing these plaza trees to create a somewhat circular shape around this corner so it looks more interesting than just a plain square. Oh, and I decided to make something really fun on this side. We're going to make a rainbow spiral with nasturtium flowers. Now this area here is very small but if you're working on a bigger area, it will look so much better. As you can see, I started by placing the yellow flowers in a spiral and then to continue the light spectrum, I'm placing the orange ones, then the red ones, and then orange again. So it will be yellow, orange, red, orange, yellow again, and so on. Our spiral will not be perfect definitely because of the small area and this is also an uneven space but making this in a larger area like I said it would look amazing. And uh, let me know in the comments if you like this spiral and if you're thinking on using it in your belly. And uh, here I'll be just adding a rock path and some bell flowers around. And moving on to the left side of the castle, Eric has his own well only because Ariel insisted on having it there, okay? I hope it is not to check on him all the time, but who knows? I will also be trying to make some kind of circular shape or oval shape with the trees around the well and I'll be decorating with some bushes but at the same time I want some space to allow myself to mine in this spot. And I'll also be adding rock path and some bell flowers to match the other side. For the fancy rest areas, I'll be placing a couple of elegant gazebos, one on each side and I'll be adding some type of walls to mark the path to them with some trellis and just alternate them with plaza trees like this. And if you're liking this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're interested in more videos like this. And before we decorate our gazebos with the expensive stuff, we'll work on our front fence and entrance because we don't want anyone stealing anything. I mean, you might think Disney's magic will stop them, but they had to call us to stop the night tour and so I wouldn't count on that. Okay, so for the entrance I'm going to use a couple of large plaza hedges on the sides and I'll just be adding some of these plaza trees to fill in the gaps. And I was actually looking for a big, fancy and natural looking archway but we don't have that yet. And I'm saving the gazebos for the interior side, so I decided to create my own big fancy and natural archway by arranging the trellis to look bigger and expensiver, I guess. 
then we'll just add more trellis in front, some bush variations, aiming for symmetry as well. And I'll just add some sunflowers outside. And I'll be putting Goofy stall here just to cover the imperfections. But I'm also doing him a favor. Having a rich guy as a customer means a lot of merchandise will be sold faster, right? So what can I say except you're welcome. To fill in the outer sides of our beautiful circle, I'll be trying to get as symmetrical as possible by placing some plaza trees on all corners and then some dazzle beach bushes just to make some contrast with the darker greens and then some more underbrush on all four sides. For these fillers, I decided to use mostly dazzle beach color in Forest of Valor. Uh, because I feel that the contrast of these greens looks very nice. As this is the entrance for Merlin's Woods, we could have placed the fancy path, but I decided to design it in a way that feels like it's not an official path. Like, use it at your own risk. <laughs> uh, I mean, you never know what could happen in an enchanted forest. You could find yourself following a white rabbit and falling into a hole in the ground. I mean, you never know. For this gazebo, I wanted to have a piano for Eric as he seems to like music. And I know I'm not using blue tones for the gardens, but I thought placing something that reminds Eric of Ariel will help him stop flirting with everybody in the valley. And I'm placing the pumping stool here because it has gold colors, but I really hope it doesn't trigger Cinderella thoughts for him. But anyway... For this gazebo, we're building a tea time area, so I'll be placing some chairs, tables, and of course Miss Potts will be bubbling and will be brewing. I almost forgot the lighting, so I'll be placing these candles to make the lighting a bit subtle and I will place them just behind the golden plants to make them look like it's just one item. Then I'm just placing more of these plants around, like this. This is how Eric's fancy gardens look like complete. I think the gardens look best at sunset, so I'll be posting a tour at the end of the month like I've been doing lately. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a very sweet day. Move me